Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Good, good. Could you tell me your name? My name is uh, Norman M. Cherry. I'm a uh, native of Berkeley County, born and raised here. Uh, graduated high school uh, from Berkeley County, attended Elizabeth City State University where I earned my undergraduate degree in elementary education and uh, began teaching in 64. From there, I moved through the ranks. I uh, went back and got my master's in administration in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, and uh, was given the opportunity to take a principalship here in Berkeley County and served in that capacity at what was then a K-8 for nine years. Uh, then the trend was to move principals around. So I moved from a K-8 to a K-5. I was not happy initially with the move because I had gotten comfortable. And what I've learned over the years is when you get comfortable, you stop growing. What I recognized was that when I left that elementary school, I had pretty much taken it as far as I could take it. So I went to another elementary school and assumed the role of where that principal has taken, had taken it, then moved it to the next level. And that's kind of been, I guess, uh, my story over the years, moving from that elementary school, which was a K-5, uh, to a middle school, which was uh, 6-8, and then to a high school, which was 9-12, uh, and even a STEM high school also, which was 912. I uh, worked some uh, with my alma mater, Liberty City State University, as a field consultant in the graduate program uh, for new principals and principals-to-be, working with them and sharing with them my experiences in dealing with things that you're not necessarily going to find in a textbook and how to relate to those issues. And uh, from there, I was given the opportunity to serve as the director here at Martin Community College Berkeley campus and back in 2014. Uh, that's where I've been since that time. I tell people I enjoy what I do, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Especially 50 plus years when I could easily be sitting on the porch. But I also, people, when people ask me when are you gonna retire, I jokingly ask them, find retirement in the Bible and I'll consider it. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. So I, I believe that as long as you are able to give back, you ought to do so, and age ought not be a hindrance. Well, thank you for all your years of giving back to this community and, and others around the state. So tell me a little bit about the important role of community colleges, especially in a place like Bertie County. I think the community college in, in most small communities and counties uh, has an excellent role in that it is able to bridge that gap in terms of providing opportunities for people who may not want to leave home, but at the same time find it necessary to be gainfully employed in some type of profession. All professions don't necessarily necessitate a four-year degree. Whatever you do and do it gainfully, in my opinion, that's a profession. So the community college provide those opportunities for people. And then it also provide opportunities for those who may have gained or earn a four-year degree and decide they want to do something different. I shared earlier my experience with one of my grandchildren who graduated from Liberty City State University with a degree in criminal justice and after coming back home did not want to leave but wanted to stay in law enforcement. So he took a job with the Sheriff's Department and then went through the BLET program here at Martin Community College and is now a Deputy Sheriff here in Bertie County and loving it. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it.